Father, as we meet this evening, we ask that you give us the wisdom and the courage to make the decisions that are in the best interest of our city and its citizens. We ask that you look out for our first responders, watch over our military, wherever they may be. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Roll call, please. Jeff Cavett. Here. Dugan. Goodner. Here. Scott. Here. Clayson. Here. Jana texted me earlier and said she was going to be out of town this evening, that she was not going to be able to make it back to the meeting. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for July 2017, B, minutes of meeting held in July 2017, C, claims for the month of July 2017, budget amendments 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, year-end budget amendments for fiscal year 2016-2017. Make motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cavett. Yes. Gunner? Yes. Scott? Yes. Twice? Yes. Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment to AEP, PSO in the amount of $21,150.75. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cohn? Yes. Gunner? Yes. Scott? Yes. Twice? Yes. Item number two, I mean three. Discuss and act on approval of payment to Fuel Man in the amount of nine thousand six hundred twenty-seven dollars and sixty-eight cents. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cobb. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number four. Discuss and act on approval of payment to American Exchange Bank in the amount of twelve thousand fifty-eight dollars and seventy-nine cents. For the lease purchase payments, ladder truck, GMP fire truck, backhoe, and six wheel dump truck. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jack Cup. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clay. Yes. Item number five discuss and act on approval of payment to emergency medical services in the amount of $7,348.30. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jack Cup. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clay. Yes. <laughs> Item 6, discuss and act on approval of payment to Henrietta Economic Development Authority in the amount of $9,065.19. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cobb. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number 7, discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $31,073.37 for the 2014 Series Utility System and Sales Tax Revenue Note monthly payments. Motion approved. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cobb. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayton. Yes. Item number 8, discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $19,708.83 for the note. Series monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clay. Yes. Item nine. Discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 025-195960 to Tyler Technologies in the amount of $5,570.36 for annual maintenance fees. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cobb. Yes. In there. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number 10, discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 516-718 to Hall Estill in the amount of $10,334.40 for professional services rendered on Melberger Brawley case. Did you give us that, did they put the discount on It's not on this one. It's going to be on the August one. I called him about that. He because we pay behind. Yeah. Okay. So he said it will see it on. What was it? How much was it? 10%. Right. Motion to approve? Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cobb? Yes. Goodner? Yes. Scott? Yes. Clayton? Yes. Item number 11 discuss and act on the VFW, VFW using the health department for a five year lease agreement. Um, 
I was approached about potentially allowing the VFW to use the health department because their building is caving in around them. I don't know if any of you have been to the VFW. I have because of Lions doing all of their work out there for the Christmas baskets and all of that, but it's literally falling in around them. They do a lot of things for our community. I was given a list of a few things that I'm just going to read off that they do that they're not required to do, but they give back to the community. They put out 2,000 American flags on veterans' graves at Salem, Pharaoh, Wilson, New Sonora, and West Lawn Cemeteries on Memorial Day each year. Conduct an annual Memorial Day service at West Lawn Cemetery to honor all honor our military members who have been killed in action. Provide hospital equipment to area veterans and their families. At present, they're on loan five electric beds, 15 crank hospital beds, one electric wheelchair, 15 hand-powered wheelchairs, 10 walkers, 10 utility chairs, and a number of crutches. These are items provided free of charge, may be kept as long as needed. Acquired misplaced bronze plaques, located the graves, and set these plaques for some 20 area veterans. VFW auxiliary members and other volunteers researched the obituary files at the library and added about 90 new names to the Doughboy Memorial plaque. VFW members have provided lodging, fuel, and meal, meal money to stranded veterans and their families. Provides assistance to veterans applying for VA benefits. The Lions Club uses the VA building for their annual Christmas basket program. The VFW plans to keep this building at least through the calendar year as it's not to just <coughs> The very worthwhile activity at the Lions. Anybody that helps the veterans, there's not some glaringly obvious reason that we should say why we wouldn't. I talked to them. the city attorney John about it. He didn't see any reason that we couldn't allow it to be used for the veterans, <laughs> and he could um, get a contract with them for the time frame that well, we decide. They provide hospital equipment. Yeah, yeah, we provide uh, well, a fairly wide range from hospital beds to wheelchairs, walkers, so there's utility chairs that are used in showers and whatnot, crutches, uh, walkers, and uh, we provide that to the veterans and their families. It's free. There are no strings at all attached to it. They use it until they're ready to bring it back. If it's damaged, they don't. We we pay for repairs and that sort of thing. So the idea is these, all of those guys and women, when Uncle Sam called, they stood up, they uh, answered the call, they did their duty wherever they were sent, served honorably, and at least we feel as fellow veterans that uh, we'll do all we can to support and take care of them. I'll make a motion that we If I could just make a comment before we vote, uh, as the mayor pointed out, I'm the post commander of the VFW incident, and we're in a building down there that we can't afford to heat, cool, nor repair, and moving to this proposed new location is going to resolve some major problems for us. But in any event, we're going to continue to function and provide the veteran services, those that the mayor just pointed out. Uh, I won't receive any personal benefit if this proposal is approved, but since I'm the VFW post commander, I, I, I don't plan to cast a vote on this agenda item. But you're also looking at, we didn't mention, bringing a VA clinic, we're, since we're, that's already a clinical setup, yeah, we're that if you can get one to be here so they don't have to travel all the way to Muskogee to be seen. Yeah, we hope that's going to work. They're uh, looking at Tishomingo. And uh, so we're going to continue to work with them and see what we can do, how geographically, how they're willing to <coughs> spread their people out and everything. That's that's one of the things we intend to try to try to do. Roll call, please. Jeff Coe. Yes. Goodner. Abstain. <coughs> Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number twelve. Discuss an act on reducing the rent to Henrietta Pallet Company to $1,000 per month. Pallet Company yeah. is here to discuss. You want to come up to the podium and state your name and everything happened to them? I know Ron and I had already visited with you. But yes, and thank you, by the way, for working on the driveway. Thank you. You did a good job. <clears throat> 
basically we've been in the building probably 20, 25 years. And uh, when we got the building, it was a condemned building. Basically, the city obtained it to build a water treatment plant. There was no electricity. There was everything was in shambles. We uh, built the building inside, wired it, offices, dock system, paid for the asphalt, asphalt which the city actually laid. Approximately spent probably one hundred and twenty thousand dollars at that point. We had a contract up until about six years ago for $850 for as long as we stayed there. Well, Ken Faro was the mayor at the time, I believe, and uh, we had a fire. And he thought, well, that was way too cheap for us to pay. So pretty much we came in here and got railroaded into $1,750 a month. Well, that was all fine and dandy as long as things were going well. But it's tough these days. Uh, we lost Anchor about two years ago. We've had them for 28 years. Really no reason. Somebody in Tampa decided they wanted to give the business to somebody else. Since then, we've had some water issues, which we talked to the other city manager but prior to you, I believe, and had some mold issues, and we actually went in and just totally gutted two of the offices and bleached all the mold out and cleaned it up. And I had pictures if somebody wanted to actually see them. Kind of pass that around. This is what some of the pictures of the mold that we took. But his answer to me was, "Well, your contracts expired anyway, <laughs> so we didn't do anything. So we basically spent another eight this or ten. This was two years ago. Yeah, approximately. Yeah. yeah, and we probably spent another eight, nine thousand dollars renovating those offices. I'm just asking for your help. If you guys can help us, it'd be greatly appreciated. If we get back on our feet and start rolling in the money again, we're we're okay with going back up on the rent. So, but right now it's a struggle. And you cut your employees in half. Oh, we're we're down to seven employees now. We had we've had as many as fifty. So yeah. But in the last year, year and a half, yeah, you've cut uh, down more and more. We had fifteen or sixteen as of last Christmas, and we cut down to seven. So and some of those guys have been with me 18 years, a long time. And you said right now you're just struggling to meet rent to just stay everything, afloat. Everything in general. I mean, it's a struggle. And we're, we're, you know, we're trying to do everything we can do to keep the doors open and beating the doors, trying to get more business every day. So. Well, it seems reasonable to me. So I'll make a motion we approve. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Roll call, please. Jeff Hatton. Yes. Good there. Yes. Scott. You can keep those mold pictures. Yes. <laughs> we have no use for them. Thank you. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Item 13. Discuss an act on the reappointment of trustee Keith Estes with Diana Carter as the alternate to the Henrietta Hospital Authority for the term of five years. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Hatton. Yes. Good yes. Scott? Yes. Clayson? Yes. Item number 14, discuss and act on approval of ordinance number 1054, an ordinance amending ordinance number 702 for the purpose of rezoning certain property described from R1 single family residential to R3 manufactured home. You want to talk about it, Jody? You want me to talk about it? Uh, <clears throat> this is a recommendation from our zoning board. Correct. Uh, this uh, Tammy Benning applied for this, and uh, we did the certified mailings. We did the ads in the paper. She paid for all that. Uh, had the meeting. Two people, three people from the area showed up, and everybody was supportive of it. And so she's gone through all the channels, and I feel good about it. It's, it's in an area that hasn't had anything new in a long time, and I think I think she will make it a nice place, and I think it'll be an improvement. So it's B Street off of Dude Nelson Edition, correct? Correct, yes. And those those streets are it's B yeah, and then like it's, one way in and one way out. Yeah, it is. But the place that she bought is really a nice place. I think she'll make it a. Uh, and your recommendation is for the council to approve it because and you've it was, seen it. it and you're yes, it was unanimous on the uh, planning and zoning. And everybody that showed up that had got the certified letters was supporting mm -hmm. yes. her as well. That was neighbors. And that was the actual. You know, that is the actual hearing. That command, there was no objections. I haven't had any. I make the motion we approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jack House. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayton. Yes. Item 15, 
discuss and act on declaring an emergency on ordinance number 1054. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cook. Yes. Yes. Scott. Yes. 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 Item 16, discuss and act on city manager's report. I don't know if y'all have been out by Nichols Park lately, but things look really good out there. Um, we have the new swing set in, the new volleyball. People are out there playing every day. It's really good out there. Why I'm on that subject, we do have the Sportsman Alliance with the unions that are coming. Linda Gerster is here, and they plan on putting in the fishing dock as they had planned previously, but they've also decided that pavilion the second one past the, the first one past the beach house before you get to the other one that they're going to re-roof it try to get all the graffiti off and rewire it and try to get it up to where it needs to be and look really good uh, they've already done 50 15, grills 15 grills 15 are, grills already made. and they're working on the picnic tables and they had some ideas of using some of the sandstone to build some tables with that as well when they're here so then it's natural to the park so then you it wouldn't be as easy for them to fall apart as the concrete and they plan on being here september 30th so any volunteer that can help hands-on they're looking for volunteers to be out there the 30th do you know what time they're going to be here we're um, serving breakfast at 8 a.m that morning biscuits and, and sausage gravy if anybody wants to come out or donate anything uh, they will be here maybe the weekend before we would like to take the roof off of that pavilion the weekend before if you could get someone to haul off the roof the old roof and that way we'd be prepared to just lay that roof in one setting i'm sure we can work something out well that would be the, one of the first to thank you for all the work you folks are doing that is an enormous improvement to our park out there and we do appreciate it well, a lot of us live around here, and we've been pushing for the unions to get involved. And this Sportsman Alliance is something that we've all been putting in to for years. And I, they do one project a year in the state of Oklahoma. If you have banquets and raise money, a portion of that money comes back into the state. And I've been pushing for three years to get this down here. They were not able to do it the year before, but they did another park down in uh, southwestern Oklahoma and had money left over. So with that money, with the money we raised last fall, we're combined to do this. And we were very thankful to get them to come in. Yeah, I appreciate all your hard work trying to get them here and coordinate all of it because I know it hasn't been easy. And also, that brings up with the Labor Day Parade, that you're still going to, with the unions and donations, try to support the bands. Yes. And get them here. Yes. Uh, like I said, last Friday, I, the AFL-CIO did um, donate $5,000 to the band competition. And they put out a notice to all of the locals in the state asking for contributions from each one of the internationals that is located in the state so because you've always had a ten thousand dollar donation but it changed this year so now you're trying to make up for that so then the bands do get the profit that they have yes. always thought they were going to get all that money goes to the bands and if there's anything left over it will be used next year towards the band and hopefully we'll get more bands coming in if we get more money sounds great thank you for that uh -huh. water treatment plant that's the one we had a special meeting and voted on the motor and all that, correct? Um, oh, water waste treatment, water. not wastewater. Yeah, yeah, I skipped one. We have, we're just waiting on the motor from We actually got the BRB. motor. We got the motor now, and we did a, a punch list with uh, Bill Myers on Monday, so it's just about to wrap up. Yeah, and the drying beds are complete. It's just yes. a matter of getting the motor down at the water plant right and, and doing some of the program a little bit of the programming left and that's about it and it wasn't due to be completed until September 7th correct and so they're ahead of schedule on that and they're actually working on the water tower 
the storage tank, BRB, is contracted there as well. Yes. And so they're moving right along ahead of schedule. And DN tanks will be starting. You should see cement going up pretty soon. We went and looked this, at the other I think they're going to pour the, uh, some footings, I believe, uh, this week. It's well, been perfect. quite the groundwork to get it all ready to go. But it's looking good, too. Uh, wastewater plant was the one that had the pump down that we had the special meeting to get fixed. Transfer station has new gates that have been installed. The bridge projects. Well, where do I start? <laughs> Donna and Ron were notified today that we are uh, due for another bridge inspection. So they appeared to do a bridge inspection today. Well, we knew we had bridge problems. We had already even put out a list of what bridges he was going to work on. They've been working on the one on Barclay. And today they decided it would be best at the bridge inspector's suggestion to close that road till they get it completely fixed because of the work that needs to be done on that so that's what we've done we had to close Barkley it shouldn't be closed any longer than two weeks but it's better than the bridge being out permanently because we're working on repairing it we don't know what else they're gonna find why they're here but we do know that we're gonna work on those but money doesn't grow on trees and so it's difficult to get all of these projects done and our tax dollars have been down most of this year and so it makes it difficult to find money when you project on your budget where you think your taxes will be and people don't buy local and spend local and then you have a money loss. And I'm already sure. that group is saving us a ton by doing a lot of that work themselves. Yes, you know. the city crew has been doing it all yes, and sir. with the equipment that we bought that they're putting to use and it's saving tons of money because if not we would have an engineer and all of these contractors out there working on it. It looks good. I don't know if y'all have driven by it, but they're doing a really good job on keeping all of it up and going. Uh, the next bridge, I would assume, would be uh, Broadway, potentially. So. Uh, yeah, potentially. It just depends where we go from here and how yeah, much and, money this one entails. And after this inspection, we get through the main. Right. And they may close the, Broadway. I mean, right, there's well, no telling. They could right. potentially, because they have told us that in the past. Right. But there's a lot of main lines that run under that bridge that's going to make it a very tricky repair. Yes. And so that's why you didn't start there, because it's going to take multiple people involved, correct? Yes, and, and with the Sparkly one, too, we, we knew that was, you know, right. the structure we was going to have to work on, and that was And it's also in a flood zone. Yes. Do you have anything to add on? No, I'm good. Uh, revenue generated from the hot trails was four hundred and eighty-five dollars this month. I'd entertain a motion. I'd like a motion to be the city manager for the board. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cohn. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Five. Yes. Item number seventeen. Discuss an act to award bid of two thousand Dodge, 2007 Dodge Charger V8 four-door passenger vehicle bin number 2B3K A43 H77003. Uh, we took closed bids until 5 o'clock on Friday. Donna and myself, Ron, uh, Steve Norman, and David Bullard opened those closed bids, which was two, two seconds because there was one on this Dodge Charger, which went to Devin George in the amount of $2,555. We had a reserve of $2,500. Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Gardner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Tyson. Yes. Item number 18, discuss an act to award bid on 2000 Ford 350 passenger van, then number 1FBSS31S3YHA76687. Only one bid was received on it as well. It was a 2000 Ford Van B10, $305 to Joshua Bitt. Make a motion. We approve. Second. Roll call, please. Check out. Yes. Greiner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number 19. Discuss an act to award bid on 1989 KME ladder truck, bid number 1K9A4. F428XKN058174. We had two bids on it. We had um, City of Okima and City of Shakota. City of Shakota 
the uh, bid fifty one hundred dollars five thousand was the reserve and city of Okima bid seven thousand dollars make a motion we approve or accept uh, city of Okima's bid Sorry. roll call please Jerka yes Goodner yes Scott yes Lyson. yes item number 20 discuss and act on new business no new business item 21 Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for July 2017, B, minutes of meeting held in July 2017, C, claims for the month of July 2017, D, budget amendment number 18 for year in budget amendments for fiscal year 2016-2017. Discuss and act on approval of payment of Center Point landfill in the amount of thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Lyson. Yes. Item number three. Discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB 09-0029-CW in the amount of eleven thousand one hundred ninety-three dollars and twenty-six cents for monthly payment. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of purchase of caustic soda in the amount of $8,500 for the water treatment plan. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number five, Discuss and act on approval of purchase of ferric chloride in the amount of $7,500 for water treatment plan. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Lyson. Yes. Item number six discuss and act on approval of payment of contractor's application number three to DN Tanks Incorporated in the amount of $235,772.31 for the million gallon water storage tank. Motion to be approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Bison. Yes. Item number seven, discuss and act on new business. No new business. Item number eight, adjourn. Make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Goodner. Yes. Scott. Yes. Bison. Yes. This is my favorite motion. Adjourn this meeting.